Welcome to our summer seasonal update. If you missed our spring update, it's where staff from the Central Tablelands Local Land Services provide information on our soil moisture probes from across the area. We look at real-time pasture modelling and other weather data from across our area to assist producers to make some informed decisions for the upcoming period. While we've seen some rains in, in some of the regions over the last couple of weeks, uh, particularly in some of the drier areas of, of the region, this has taken some of the pressure off um, for the next couple of months, at least in the short term. So there has been some move in the market. So those who have bought stock at, at higher levels uh, and have been reluctant to sell, the upward pressure on the markets now has provided some opportunities for those who are looking to lighten the load and, and, and reduce their livestock numbers. It also provides an opportunity for those who have excess fodder, who may be looking to um, in, in potentially increase their number, or those who have got uh, fodder crops you know, with the likes of Lucen, to take opportunities of, of a lower, lower fodder demand, but also potential to, to run their stock through and to fatten some, fatten some lambs. When we look at the bomb outlook for rainfall, it's not giving a clear indication or a clear trend that it will be wetter or drier. So the, the models are showing a, a neutral um, or a 50-50 chance of, of exceeding median rainfall. What this means is that you may be, un, may be under some summer storms. However, as a nature of storms, you may miss out on that rainfall. So some things to consider, the amount of feed that you have on the ground, so your dry feed in the paddocks, but also the amount of fodder you have on hand, but also the water uh, infrastructure that you have. Um, given that summer is, is, a, is a critical period for, for water intake for livestock, but also um, the opportunity for evaporation is much higher than the than, than normal period. If you do have feed in your paddocks and, and some of the paddocks ha have uncertain water, then it's an opportunity to, to use that fodder in the paddocks while you do have access to that water. Producers can get caught in a difficult situation where they, they may have fodder in, in paddocks, but no access to water. So, any of those paddocks where you have that, that water is, is not as um, reliable as, as others, it's, it's an opportunity to use that fodder first. So it's important if you're looking to get away for that Christmas period um, to have, have a break, then you need to have those plans in place now to make sure that uh, there's, there's, you don't run into animal welfare issues. So we have nine soil uh, moisture probes scattered around the region the information from this is publicly accessible. So they're there for your use to look at the soil moisture in your area. So we have moisture down from 10 centimetres down in increments down to 60 centimetres. There's also pasture modelling that's done. You can determine uh, the, the pasture growth uh, and, and predicted green matter and herbage mass of your pastures. But they're a really great tool to see what's happening in your local area. My name is Matt Ryan. I'm a grazier with uh, both uh, prime lamb enterprise and, and beef cattle. The soil moisture probe gives us a, a snapshot of just how much moisture we've got in both the top 10 centimetres and in the subsoil. Uh, we use that to aid decision making. The top 10 centimetres you can estimate yourself pretty much just by kicking the ground but the, the 60 centimetre, 40, 60 centimetre area I've got no idea so it's a good tool to give looking in long term of where you might be in a month's time given you don't get any more rainfall. Now for us this year particularly we had a failed spring in that we did not receive the rainfall we required. So we had to make some management decisions in, in terms of stocking rate. Now those decisions are guided by uh, objective data and the moisture probe showed us that we had no subsoil moisture. So given that circumstance heading into a warmer summer with no subsoil moisture in the light granite soil, we could be in a lot of trouble with the stocking rate we were taking through. So we had to early on make some decisions to, to reduce that stocking rate. So it's a very good tool for us to look at that, that profile. Just in summary, we'd like to highlight the tools that we have available. The soil and moisture probes that we have, the feed testing that we have available, the drought and supplementary feed calculator, but also the Bureau's outlook models that we have access to. These can all help be used in conjunction to make decisions. Feel free to contact any of the staff at Local Land Services. We're more than happy to run you through the tools and have a discussion with you to assist you to make the best decisions that you can for your business. So coming up next year, we've got some exciting things happening. We'll be doing, once again, we'll be doing a, an autumn update to let you know how, we're, how things are traveling and, and assist you there. Um, 
Prague Race is always a really good course and we'll be running that again next year. So if you're interested in that, contact us and we can um, sign you up. From all the ag team at Local Land Services, thanks for joining us. We're looking forward to working with you next year. Have a great Christmas.